Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to the Grounded Update video where today I'm going to be looking at items that are hidden within the dev files within the natural resources tab and give you guys a little bit of a forward look at what's coming to the game of Grounded. If you guys are not looking for spoilers, now will be a great time to click away from the video and just let me know down. Thanks for letting us know that we didn't want spoilers because I'm kind of trying to feel out what the audience wants to see. If you guys want to know what's coming in the future, let me know down in the comments. If you guys don't want to know what's coming down in the coming in the future, let me know that way I know not to make these spoilers videos or maybe make the members only or something like that that way they're not out there for everyone also i'd like to invite all of you guys to like comment and subscribe but let's hop in and let's talk about all the hidden items that are coming to the game of grounded so scrolling down here you guys will see that most of this stuff is new but then we start getting things like shiny ant heads now the shiny ant head uh, item has been in the game for a while and i don't know what they're planning on doing with that maybe it's just a rare item that you can find but right now i don't think that's pointing to a new type of ants that's coming to the backyard but i do know that it's in there and it's just a shiny ant head uh let's scroll down a little bit more you guys will see that there's fertilizer uh a, a time release fertilizer pellet i think that this is definitely something that's going to get added to the game soon maybe that we can make um because we have the garden plots now so with these it's very possible we can make this or inside of the grinder maybe or we have a fertilizer pack in the backyard that you can find somewhere uh maybe back in that back garden area that we saw before in the trailer for doom and shroom uh it's very possible that it could be there so that would be pretty cool if we got the fertilizer uh in there because that could help us grow our plants even faster but as we come down here you'll start to see some other stuff polaroid pictures a block i'm not going to spend any time on that but we do have ladybug wings ladybug wings strong enough to carry the full girth of a ladybug through the air so i'm assuming from this that the ladybugs are going to be getting a third item soon and that's pretty cool if they do that maybe it's going to make it so they can fly maybe it's going to be a new glider for us that would be pretty neat as well let's scroll down a little bit more grub faceplate just another grub item not really added to the game yet i don't know what they're going to use that a crunchy fat face mask Ooh, that sounds gross um but let's scroll down a little bit more because there's a couple more things down here that interest me that i really want to make a video on for you guys so coming down over here we have the cattail fluff cattail fluff was in the game previously in the developer version of the game and they did have it on actual cattails that were in the pond so it's very possible that they're going to bring it back i hope they do because i'd like to see some of sort of cold weather gear with this but we are getting down now into more things that are brand knew that i just found not even an hour ago while wearing my very bright shirt and was so excited about showing you guys so pupa hide what this points to that we may be getting a new type of bug in the backyard that's a pupa of something a pupa stage of something maybe we have the larva so then we're going to get the pupa stage of something which is going to be really creepy looking but we now have the pupa uh, hide which is adding that there could be a new item added to the future in the future there could be a new bug in the future not sure let me know what you guys think the pupa could be for scrolling down a little bit more we have our standard brood mother stuff uh hardened sprigs it's reinforced with Reven resin at super sturdy i think that this is what's going to be needed in order to make the dragonfly slayer or some of the items you guys are about to see down below as i scroll down a little bit more you'll see we have a couple things that caught my attention right away scrolling down here right here so we have spicy candy and sour candy so we had a well we had uh what were they called a candy corn candy corn in the game for for halloween i'm hoping that this time they bring even more different types of candy to the backyard like kids were throwing their halloween candy over the fence and then we have spicy candy and sour candy and that these can be crafted in some sort of smoothie or something like that i think that'd be really cool but new more food items just like i asked for in our food uh video so i'm really hoping that we get those really soon here rotten food not really sure yet uh, could just be like food that rots in your inventory but guys check this out right here just as we suspected the roly-poly gear is set up inside of here for us to take a peek at okay look at that roly-poly helmet roly-poly breastplate and roly-poly leg pads now they're not done yet they're not ready because what i want to point out is that these are ant 
the description for the ant gear okay so they're not ready quite yet probably in the next update which is in probably about a month and a half uh so cool that we could see it right here right now i can't make it because it's in the natural resources tab right now so it's just a conglomerate of everything that's coming uh but really really cool that we have the roly-poly gear it is confirmed that it's roly-poly gear look at that stuff that looks really really cool to picture of that i'm too excited about it all right then the next thing i saw that's right underneath that got me super excited as well and that is the tier 3 axe and the tier 3 hammer look at the damage and speed on those things and the stun that's pretty good now i know that's probably not their final stats and they may get even better but we are going to be seeing a tier 3 axe and a tier 3 hammer sometime in the game Pretty excited about that. Going to make our building go even faster with being able to cut down grass blades and weed stems even faster. And then also a uh, tier three hammer for breaking things that are even harder in the game. So I can't wait to see what gets added. There's no more information on these yet. It just has an axe made of strong bug parts, sturdier and more durable than a pebble axe. That is the description for the insect axe. And then this is the description for the insect hammer. It just says tier three hammer up here. So we know they're working on it. No more information more than that at this point um but right now that's it but look at this guys a rotten black ant shovel rotten black ant shovel this is interesting because a rotten black ant shovel points to an item that's going to be somewhere in the backyard that's rotten that's hidden that we're going to be able to find that is a black ant part item so black ant shovel in the game i'm probably thinking it's going to be somewhere near the black ant hill if not in the black ant hill but really cool that we're going to get a rotten version of it we're going to be able to try out the new shovel also cool that we're getting a, a rotten shovel so that way you don't have to make one because right now you can almost make everything except for a bow and the shovel and the tool, so the axe and the hammer, there isn't rotten versions of those yet, but um, we are going to be getting a rotten shovel, which is really, really neat. So looking forward to that. Also, it looks like that we may have gotten more of what the shovel is going to look like, because if we look at this shovel, right, checked out this shovel look. Okay, it actually looks kind of like a tactical shovel, a little bit of a handle. And then if we go back over here to our actual tools and we scroll down and look at the egg corn shovel, it's pointy and doesn't have that there. So I'm thinking that we are getting very, very close to being able to have the black ant shovel and the black ants. I know right here, black ant parts, they are not actually made yet. One thing I want to point out about black ant parts black ant mandibles the seemingly indestructible pincers of a black ant i know we saw a weapon that looked like a black ant um pincer so i'm hoping that we have some sort of black ant pincer dagger that would be really cool um but as we scroll down here going back over to the uh the the shovel here the rotten shovel the rotten black ant shovel that is a really cool looking shovel i'm hoping that this is what the shovel looks like it looks really cool i'm hoping it gets added to the game just like this i don't think it needs anything else let me know what you guys think down in the description i'd love to know but i don't think that shovel needs anything else and going through more or less everything else that's in here i've talked about before you know a compass directional magnet powered uh we hopefully we get a magnet uh, the compass at some point the clover glider an actual different type of glider very possible that it's not getting added to the game um, but we can hope because we do want a new glider uh, pet memorials I like this pet memorial it's got a little aphid with a little halo on it I think that is super duper cute it's also really super sad um, but at the end of the day it's a really cute pet memorial and that is gonna do it guys that is everything that is at the moment hidden over here in the natural resources if there's anything that i happen to miss in here let me know down in the comments and maybe i can let you guys know uh make sure you guys like the video as well it helps the channel way more than you guys know don't forget to subscribe because i hate for you guys to miss any other grounded videos and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one